Well, this is Chesil Cove where I didn't dive yesterday. I'm now thinking I should dive it today. It's looking okay. I can go and fiddle around in those rocks, maybe get something to eat. The sea's flattened off loads. I'm going to check out my tanks and if uh, my eggs are working, I think I'll have a little dip. where I was going to come out but actually it's pretty good uh, pretty much where I need to be in fact well I'm back out of my dive and uh, it was quite good had about three meters visibility um, lots of wrasse lots of sand eels few spider crabs, few bits and bobs. I, I tell you what though, oh, a cuttlefish. I saw them twice, big one, big, biggest cuttlefish I've seen. But, speaking of the biggest, biggest ones I've ever seen, look at the size of this beak. It doesn't even fit in. Right, here's an, here's an idea, right? This thing, I've never seen a crab this big, yeah? size of my head. I am going to have a major feast tonight. Look at that. Look at that. Top finger. Mental. That is a mental crab. I'm forever blowing bubbles. I can't, I can't believe this. I mean, I, I just checked. My forefinger to the the crux between forefinger and thumb is the same length as his top claw okay this thing is nine inches long across so look there you go it is literally the size of my head 
this really is a monster beastie and that is going to taste so incredibly good it's a male as well i'm really going to enjoy that tonight you're not you cheeky little bastard look at that entire bottom drawer of my fridge i've taken the gin out specially that is one massive monster i really don't like to cook in the van but you can see the reason why I'm not going outside. Mr. Crab barely fits. So there's my rolling boil. So it's time to say goodbye, Charlie. I mean, look at that. Look, honestly, honestly. Now we've just got to get him in somehow. He ain't gonna like that. He's been in the fridge, so he's really chilled out now. Well, it's lucky I didn't get a bigger one because that, that took some effort to get into the pot. Well, it's all cooked now and um, less dangerous to me. Uh, he's cooled down a bit, not fully cooled, so it's still slightly warm, so it should be a bit easier to pick and I'm going to start eating. It's half eight at night and I'm ready to rock. Dad wanted to see how big it was compared to a plate. It's a plate sized bowl. <laughs> it's big. Seriously, I mean look at this. Just just look at it. And it tastes amazing. I've just eaten the legs. That's the legs. Normally I don't bother with the legs, I keep them for a stock or something. There was loads in there. This is an amazing meal. So there's the body. That is going to wait for tomorrow because I'm already full. This here, right, this big pile of meat is one claw. One claw. I've had one claw on the legs. I'm good to go. But of course I'm going to eat the rest of that one. But yeah, that was, that was an amazing amount in that crab. That's three meals. Maybe four. I'm most satisfied. Yum yum! Well, here I am at the lizard, and a crab is making its second appearance in a crab sandwich. She's brought some nice wholemeal bread from Tesco in Truro, and uh, mixed the claw meat with a little bit of brown from the shell, uh, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and a squeeze of lemon juice. So uh, I'm looking forward to this. A bean posh crab, B bean posh national trust place. I've cut the sandwich into quarters, but look at that. That's deep fill, man. That's deep fill.